Yo, 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 gamers. It's Rahul Easy, and I'm back with another video at 2.15 in the morning while I'm recording this right here. I'm dying to go to sleep, man, but I'm also dying to help out my subs and help out everybody that really wants this. I know I've been having a lot of uh, requests for this, and I finally got a video for you. We got a way to clean dirty dupes again. Do it before it gets patched, man. This is the new method. In case you guys don't know what dirty dupes are, you see that plate right there? That's a generic plate. Now, I don't have any dirty dupes, but this is how you can tell. If you go to your cars and your garages and you see two of the same generic plates, not that one, that's a blank plate, don't worry about that. But if you see two generic plates like that one also, if you see two of them that are literally identical, you will lose your custom plates in LSC because you have dirty dupes. Two cars with the same generic plates like that are dirty dupes. You gotta clean those cars as soon as possible, okay? That's why you are dupe detected. But with this method, guys, you can clean the hell out of those cars and very quickly, I wasn't gonna post it with the join friends method. That method sucks, man, it really does. The timing's so hard, but this new, uh, you know, cancel Lester heist method, whatever you wanna call it, it works wonders, all right? So make sure you give me a thumbs up because I know all you guys really wanted to clean your dupes. You wanted a new method, and here it is. Subscribe to me if you're new, and make sure to turn on them post notifications, guys. You know I'm bringing you the freshest and dopest GTA 5 online content daily. I should change that. I got that in my description. I, I said in my description I'm posting three to four times a, a week. I'm posting every day, basically, all right? So, as you know, the hurricane's coming, man. I gotta post these videos quick. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So, here we go. You need a personal vehicle storage. You need your car you wanna clean up, put it in there, and go ahead and call Lester like you see right here. Now, when you call Lester, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna scroll down to cancel heist. Now, go ahead and wait for the phone to go away. There it is. Press Y to get in the car, and you're gonna wait till the engine starts. Cancel the heist, get to, or sorry, hold left trigger, cancel the heist, and then back out, okay? This is a fail right here. I know it went kind of quick there. Don't worry. I'm going to show you guys that it is possible to fail this. It's not foolproof, but it's way easier than the join heist or join friend method, all right? Uh, this one's completely solo. The other one's solo, too, because you don't, you know, your friend doesn't know you're joining them, but still, this one, 10, no, no, like I said in the last video, 20,000 times easier. Okay, so I failed right there. What you should do is actually get in the car and drive out, but I'm gonna, you know, stupidly go ahead and try again to see if it works. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and stand next to your car right there. Remember, the car you wanna clean up, the dirty dupe, call Lester, and when you call Lester, you're gonna go down to cancel heist. Now, once you're uh, hovering over cancel heist, wait for the phone to go away, hold left trigger right now, hold reverse. Now, you're gonna go ahead and press A on cancel heist, and then let go of left trigger and press B. Now you see, it just kicks you out right away. That's what happens when you've failed already and it's just not working. So if that happens to you, go ahead and get in the car and just drive out. You can go ahead and drive around the block. I kind of just, you know, backed up all the way behind this, you know, parking lot. Drove around a little bit, just a few seconds. Not sure why this works, but it just does. Uh, and you'll see, I'm gonna hit it first try again. So now I'm gonna go ahead and enter the MOC. Make sure you get in that animation too. That does really help, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, you need that. So while you're next to your car, this is the successful attempt. Go ahead and call up Lester. Now, once again, you're going to go and hover over cancel heist. Now, right when that phone goes away, you're going to be holding left trigger or reverse, whatever it is on your console. So the phone's away. I'm holding reverse right now, holding left trigger. Now, once you're in and the engine starts, press A to cancel heist. Let go of left trigger, spam B. That's what just happened right there, all right? So you're gonna see right here, I'm gonna spawn outside without the car and on foot, no car anywhere on the map. You don't wanna see that at all. It actually hasn't happened to me once while doing this glitch, It's or this new method. It's really, really simple. Uh, but yeah, you gotta stay tuned so you know how to clean these dirty dupes. All right, if you guys lost your custom plates and stuff like that, you know, there you go. You see the car? It's a glitch. Now just, you know, walk up, you can touch it, whatever, you know, glitches the hell out, boom. You know, look at that shit, all crazy and stuff. Now, this time you're just gonna stay inside. <laughs> that car looks insane. It's spazzing the hell out, having like a seizure in there. Um, <laughs> so, I just kind of stared at it for a little bit. I really, I wanted to see if it would stop and it really wouldn't. Okay, so open up your phone when you got the cars glitched out like that and you're gonna go to Legendary Motorsport and you're gonna go ahead and go to sort by price, order up a free anus uh, LG RH8 and press order and you're gonna order it into the MOC. Now, when you order it into the MOC right there, hit yes to replace, exit out, that car that was spazzing out disappeared, the car that'll be on top will disappear. Just go ahead and hop into your car that you wanna change the plate on. 
Now, I'm gonna fast forward, look at this shit. Lester called me. L Lester just randomly called me, look, it kicks me out of the car. Don't, if that happens to you, get back in. What a dick, I can't believe you really called me at this time. Anyways, so I'm gonna fast forward, you know, there we go. We're at the point where the, the elegy spawns in and it spawns on top of me. Take a look at that plate. 24 US zero or O, whatever that is, whatever. Just remember that plate, all right? And now look, you drive out and there you go. You have merged the plate from that RH8 right onto your car. Really, really simple. Now go ahead and drive it back in and the car saves and there you go. You have cleaned your dirty dupe. Make sure you clean your dirty dupes, guys, if you by mistake made them. Once again, it's two generic plates that are the same. If you're using custom plates to dupe, you're fine. But if you, you know, mistakenly made, you know, a dirty dupe on one of the old dupe glitches or maybe this one, you know, that you weren't supposed to, don't worry, guys. You can clean your dirty dupes this way. This is a foolproof method. This thing does work. Once again, if it doesn't work for you, the, uh, the cancel heist method, uh, if it keeps kicking you out of the car, drive the car around the block, you know, real quick, and then go back into the MOC and try again. It should work for you first try after that. This method's way easier than the join friends method. I didn't want to put that one out there. It sucks, especially for this one, because you might have like 10 dirty dupes, you know, and you want to clean them all. So you want the easiest, most efficient method. This is it. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Make sure you like the video by pressing that blue thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red ass button and turn on them post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope GTA 5 online content. That's going to be it for me. My name is Rolezy and I'm out of here guys. Peace out. I'm going to sleep.